Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me. Hope that you're doing great today. Welcome to a brand new day in your life. Lots of opportunities to make this very, very special and I hope you've got something good planned for yourself. I'm feeling good this morning. I had a good night's sleep, um, which isn't so, something I've been having for the last few years, but yeah, I got a good sleep and I feel really, really positive about the day. It's lovely to be here with you. Um, I want to thank all the new women that are joining us. Um, I'm amazed actually the number of people who join us every single day. So for some of you who've been here with us for five years, I may be repeating things that you that you know and it's like okay Margaret we know but um, I really do appreciate the fact that we've got new people so I want to welcome you we've got 65,000 people now coming to visit on YouTube and that's growing I don't know a couple of thousand every week it's really really lovely so I'm happy to have new people here and remind you about what we do you know well, who we are uh, 60 and me is a, a group for, uh, for women who are aging beautifully who are trying to make the most out of life in their 60s and I get together here to talk about things that I think are important, you know, little topics that, that we have on our minds. And um, it was recently Mother's Day uh, and, of course, all these uh, great, you know, holidays that, that celebrate um, our mom and grandmother and, and parents' day and this day. But it was, it was a time when I thought this year about pictures. Because I, um, you know, we got so used to using our technology now for pictures. I have a Facebook group, I have Instagram, and I put my pictures everywhere. And I've got this video. We have thousands of articles and maybe 1,300 videos now. So we've got lots of technology storing our pictures, my pictures, my family. I've got um, more pictures of, you know, our, my grandchildren than I do of, you know, all of my children's lives in, in just a couple of years. And so we have technology. And uh, one of our bloggers, Cheryl Therian, wrote this article. You've got to read it because it's really funny. Um, she talks it because she talks about how to blend technology for saving our memories and, you know, using it in the, with the old fashioned ways. And the reason I said I thought about this was Mother's Day because I have maybe 10 pictures of my mom uh, total. I mean, like pictures of her with, with my, my dad, with, with my brothers, but of her by herself, I think I have like three pictures. And my brother, thankfully, uh, had kept these and, um, you know, I was able to copy them. So um, my mom died quite young, of course, and she didn't, we didn't have the technology. We didn't have cell phones in those days and we just did the best we could. But I was just reminded, though, how precious memories and photography is to the not just the um, person but the spirit of the person you know it's just the the picture is one dimensional but there's more you can do now with video and so on which is I highly encourage it I know nobody wants to do your, um, your uh, YouTube videos it's scary it's put, putting yourself out there but you can keep them completely private you can do a little recording like I'm doing, just saying hello to your family, to your grandkids, little messages that you want to leave them. And it's, it's, it makes such a difference to have a, have a physical, um, dynamic person talking than uh, just a picture. But Cheryl talks about pictures, and that's, I think, where we'll start. Mem memories and uh, photographs. Now, we create photo albums and scrapbooks. That was the olden days. We take, I've got so many of them, uh, which I've digitized. You know, pictures of um, uh, event posters, movie tickets, all kinds of things that would go into a photo album. And then, you know, now, of course, we keep online backups to keep them, them safe. But um, what, what uh, Cheryl reminds us is, what if, you know, what if technology collapsed? You know, what if there was like no Facebook, there was no YouTube, there was nothing? What would we do? Oh, no, <laughs> the, the apocalypse. I mean, it really would be like the end of the world for many people. But, um, you know, what would you do? And so she says, OK, I'm just going to cover myself. I'm going to have like a backup. I've got everything on, on video but, and, and on articles and, and pictures, but I'm going to have a backup. And I, I do too, because I think that having a physical thing is cool. Now, we had, uh, maybe I had maybe six albums, big, heavy albums uh, with pictures I've been carrying around for years. And I just made a big step forward and I took all the pictures out of the albums and put them in a box and so now I have one box and I did sort through I mean I took my pictures of buildings that you know only I have a memory about I, I took those out because I just want pictures of people you know my, my people and the places that we lived but not the you know the the playground or the whatever so I also have um, you know follow Cheryl's strategy and have a backup plan too so 
she likes crafting. I like crafting. Um, I like putting uh, embellishments on pictures. I'm the only one, I think, in the family now that does this, but I do love it. And um, she's a baby. Basically, you can blend them together. You can have all your pictures on Facebook. You can have all the things on Twitter, wherever you want to store Instagram, all your stuff. But then you can save memories in new ways. Now, she said that she and her husband, for example, have just started taking selfies <laughs> and nobody likes selfies. They always say, oh, I look so bad. But there's techniques. And um, I think we have a couple of articles on how to take good selfie pictures. But you can print them. Uh, you can leave them online. But then you can print them and put them in a memory book. And so you don't have to put every picture. Um, you can be maybe you have 10 pictures and you take one special one and you print it and you put it in a memory book with a little note. Maybe, maybe um, oh, I don't know, a little poem or some quote or something or just a, the year, <laughs> the year you took it and where you were. Um, so maybe it's essential pictures. When I travel, I always take so many pictures. It's kind of my memory uh, lock. I lock memories with pictures and uh, I don't do it obsessively, like I'm not always taking pictures, but I probably come back from a weekend with a hundred pictures and then I sit down and I sort them out and I choose the 10 or seven, seven's a good number, that are the essential pictures from that that trip and, um, and, and just organize them with maybe some pressed flowers I took or just a little bit of lavender that I picked up on the way or um, or just some little thing, a leaf or a, a recipe or a, a menu from a menu, something I've taken a picture of that was really memorable, like on a cruise that happened once. I took pictures of the menus because they were so interesting. But it's just that mixing the technology. Now, I actually, if I can find it, I do have a book that I purchased um, about, well, gosh, several years ago. And I use this. I used this. It's now, I've now put it in my memory box because this is where, if, you know, in the future, it's kind of my little mini autobiography. It's called The Book of Me. And it's, yeah, it's really cool. It's actually uh, a book of questions. And I've actually got put other bits of paper in there too. But, you know, it's got like, you just ask, answer questions. It's just like, what, let's see what I opened it to the uh, page. What were you tempted to do? Or when were you tempted to do something wrong just to fit in? And what did you decide to do? Good question, huh? Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what I said. Shall I tell you what I said? I said, I was very concerned. I was very conscientious. I always followed the rules in a bohemian kind of way. A conforming non-conformist. That was my answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> and there were the, how did you handle competition? Were you confident or fearful? So this is a really good book. It's actually available on Amazon. We have it on our little 60 and me shop, um, but you can order it. And um, it's about maybe, I don't know, 200 pages. It's got you know, a lot of information. I actually haven't finished with it. I should, I should keep this out now that I look at it because there's more questions that I haven't answered. So that one I'm going to keep and put it away use it some other time to complete. But it's a great way to have a physical manual uh, copy. I remember, and this is going to sound a little bit morbid, but it's, and it kind of, it is what it is, is when my dad died, um, I sat down with his wife and we had only a couple of things of his that he had written little notes in. And we sat at the table together, you know, turning the pages and because he had had a business. He started a business, which was his passion. My dad had worked for others all his life. And then he decided to open his little Tom's Garage, I think it was called. <laughs> Such a sweetheart. And he, he, he fixed cars. He was a mechanic. And um, anyway, he we read this little book together. And it was so lovely to have in his handwriting some of his thoughts and um, little just th ideas. So anyway, sometimes having that physical is so lovely when you're remembering somebody. So something to think about. Now, as uh, Cheryl says, you can create your own memory book. It's so fun. You can get fabric and paper and stickers and glitter and whatever you want. And you can buy stuff on sale to decorate your memory book. Remember, the day after the day is always the best time to buy cards, <laughs> decorations. So Easter, you know, you go out and if you, you know, buy all the Easter stuff or Christmas, if you, if you celebrate um, summer, you know, when the seasons change, all the shops uh, put out their, you know, stuff that's relevant to the next season and put the other things on sale. So you can always build your memory book from really cool little accessories and, uh, you know, just add your stickers and stars and glue and glue on there, things that bring it to life, you know, bring it to life for you. 
and your own embellishments will make it super personal. Um, I'm afraid my family is going to look at nothing but pink. <laughs> That's all my, my pink and turquoise and, and coral uh, design um, accessories. But anyway, it's it's just part of the of the idea that you can use technology for your memories and your pictures, but also maybe consider doing some physical things too, uh, some little memory books or like the book of me. And um, maybe you've got some ideas. How do you preserve your memories? Have you got like a little box of things that you're putting aside for your grandchildren or your your kids to to review when you die? It's, it's kind of a nice thought. I think it's lovely. Anyway, I hope that this has given you some ideas. Um, how creative do you get with your with your memory book? And with your, maybe, have you done an, a video, an online video, to be watched when? I think it's, it's kind of hard to get that thought around your head, but I think it's quite useful to think about. And if you have any questions about how I did it or what my ideas were, just leave them in the section below. We'll have a chat. And if you want to have a more personal conversation with me about these kinds of things, just go on over to Patreon. Patreon.com is our community where we talk about things in a more personal way. We have a smaller group, uh, under a thousand, there's actually about 700 women now. And we're not on Facebook, so we can talk more relaxed, personal way. We do live show. We have um, just exclusive videos. I just posted a really fun one about my um, grandson and I and, uh, you know, my trips. I take day trips sometimes on the bus and just take a little picture, a video, share it with the Patreon people. It's just, it's really become my kind of closer family. Although my 60 and me people are so important and I love you all. Um, that Patreon group is special too. Anyway, I do hope that you're okay wherever you are in the world and uh, put some glitter on and go out and have fun today. I've got my glittery top and earrings. I'm going to have coffee in a minute with a friend, <laughs> but uh, do have a wonderful day wherever you are and know that I treasure you all. Take good care. Bye-bye for now.